This video is about verbs like gustar. You probably think you already know the answer to this question, because in Spanish 1, your teacher told you gustar means to like. Well, I'm here to tell you that your teacher lied to you and you're wrong. But before you start freaking out, let's see why. Let's take a look at this sentence. Me gusta la escuela. Okay. Now think about what you know about present tense verbs. Think about what form the verb is conjugated in. I'll give you a hint. It's not yo. In this sentence, gustar is conjugated to match la escuela, meaning that la escuela is the subject of the sentence. That means that there is no way that me gusta la escuela actually means I like school. So, what does it mean? It actually means school is pleasing to me. Yeah, I know. That's pretty crazy. Don't look at me like that. Give me a second. I'll explain everything. Thank you. So what this sentence right here is actually saying is the act of listening to music is pleasing to me. If you have questions, please make sure you write them down in your notes and we'll go over them in class tomorrow. Now you know the structure of this example. But what happens if you want to make your own sentence? Well, I'll show you. The first thing I'll show you is how to decide which pronoun to use. Basically, how do you say that is pleasing to me versus that is pleasing to you versus that is pleasing to him? It's all right here. If it's pleasing to me, you use me. There's no question. It's pleasing to me. We can't be talking about anybody else. Same thing, if it's pleasing to you, you use te, because it's talking about you, it's not talking about anybody else. When you get to, to him, to her, or to usted, it gets a little tricky. I put a star here, because it's a good idea to go back and put in an a. What the heck is an a, you ask? Over here you see, for usted, and ustedes, or el and ella, and ellos and ella, ellos, you need to use an A to clarify. What that means is, if I say, oh, yeah, that's pleasing to him, we don't know what I'm talking about. We could be talking about, we could be talking about my brother, we could be talking about my dad, we could be talking about somebody else's uncle, we could be talking about anybody. We don't know who it is. So it's a good idea for el ella usted and el ellos ellos ustedes to add a and then the person before the pronoun. For example, over here I have a mi me gusta escuchar música. We've got a and the person, in this case, me, right? But you could put somebody's name. You could say a Pablo, and then you could say le gusta escuchar música. I'll write that out for you so it's a little bit easier to understand. Let's say that, music, that listening to music is pleasing to Pablo. We would say a Pablo. escuchar música. Okay, now let's go back to our list of pronouns. If something is pleasing to us, you use nos. You could use the a ah if you wanted to, to say to my sister and I. This thing 
is pleasing. This thing is pleasing to my sister and I. But you really don't need it. You can just put nos. Same thing for vosotros. Which, remember, vosotros is only used in Spain. So, unless you're in Spain, you don't really need to use it. But I use it a lot because I studied in Spain. But that one is os. And then we have to them, which is, it could be a group of gr girls, it could be a group of boys, it could be a group of boys and girls together. It doesn't matter. We use les. But remember, we need that a, the personal a, for clarification. If I just said, oh yeah, yeah, painting is pleasing to them, we don't know who I'm talking about. But if I said, painting is pleasing to Susie, Rebecca, and Maria, I'm clarifying and using an a. Last but not least, we've got to worry about the thing that we like. So the thing that we like could, could either be singular or plural. That's really our only two options. It doesn't matter how many things there are, all we need to focus on is whether it's singular or whether it's plural. Singular meaning one, plural meaning multiple. So, if it's singular, you use gusta. That's it. If it's plural, you stick an N on the end and you have gusta. That's all you have to worry about when you're conjugating the verb. But there's one little trick that you saw in the example. Gusta is for singular objects and also verbs. Okay, it doesn't matter how many verbs you have. You could have three verbs. It's still just gusta. I'll show you an example so that it makes more sense. Now we're back on this side of the board. And I wrote up an example for you of a sentence that contains verbs. Here we have Elena. A Elena le gusta bailar y cantar. There's a lot of verbs in that sentence. There's gustar, which is conjugated, but there's also bailar y cantar, which are both infinitives, unconjugated verbs, that don't have a subject attached to them. In this case, what this sentence is saying is that the act of dancing and singing is pleasing to Elena. Let's compare the sentence that we just looked at to a sentence about our friend Ricardo. Ricardo likes to eat tacos. Tacos are pleasing to Ricardo. So here we have a Ricardo to clarify who we're talking about. We have le because he is in the L form. It's pleasing to him. And we have gustan. Why do we have gustan? Los tacos are plural. That means there are multiple tacos. There could be two tacos, there could be a hundred tacos. No matter how many tacos there are, Ricardo will eat them all. That's why gustan is plural. This is a visual guide that took all the stuff that I just said and put it in one nice place, just for you. Let's look at some examples. First, I like pancakes. Remember, gustar doesn't actually mean to like, so this sentence is really saying, pancakes are pleasing to me. You would say that in Spanish like this. Me gustan los panqueques. How about this one? Do you like my shoes? It's really asking, are my shoes pleasing to you? And you say that like this. ¿Te gustan mis zapatos? And finally, we don't like to do homework. Doing homework is not pleasing to us. That would be, no nos gusta hacer los deberes, or la tarea. Ahora te toca a ti. Vamos a practicar. Vamos a traducir la frase al español. La respuesta es Me gustan los caballos Número 2 Do you like to ski? Me gusta soñar, me gustas tú Me gusta la mar, me gustas tú La respuesta es 
¿Te gusta esquiar? Y finalmente número 3, que es bastante difícil. She doesn't like her brother. La respuesta es... A ella no le gusta su hermano. If you have any questions about any of the concepts I've covered in this video, please ask me during class tomorrow. This is the end of the video, but I'll leave you with some verbs that work just like gustar. Hasta luego.